The person who could be Colorado's first Republican governor in a long time will not say if she believes in President Trump's big lie. University of Colorado Regent Heidi Ganahl started campaigning for governor today. She is the only Republican to hold statewide office. When politics guy Marshall Zellinger asked her if she believes our elections are rigged, she would not directly answer. The topic came up after Marshall asked her about scrubbing away social media posts expressing past support of President Trump prior to running for governor. For people that want to get to know you and might want to know what did you say and think about the January 6th insurrection or what do you think about COVID restrictions in the state, all of that proof that you might have said it on Twitter is now deleted. Why not leave it there for someone to be able to view and for you to answer questions about? Oh my gosh, Marcel, there's a world outside of Twitter. <laughs> there's a lot of ways to learn about me and what I do. But honestly, I've had a policy as a business person to clean up my social media every few months for years. It's not anything new. So I was kind of shocked by the, the uh, hoopla over it. Everything before May 31st is gone. Yeah, and I do that every few months. So if you go back every few months, clean it out. Facebook, Why? Twitter. Um, I don't think that's important. I think what's important is what's wrong with Colorado right now and the direction we're headed in. This is kind of silly to spend our time together talking about Twitter when crime is skyrocketing and our kids, the suicide rate is out of control here. No one's talking about that. As a mom, that just ticks me off. Our kids are dying. That's serious. That's more important to talk about. As a Republican, as anybody, do you think there was fraud in the 2020 election? Again, why all the divisive questions? Let's talk about what unites Colorado. And what unites Colorado is that our kids are in trouble, crime is skyrocketing, the cost of living is out of control, small businesses are being shuttered. That's what the people of Colorado are focused on and what I want to focus on in my race. And let's talk about the future and building a better future for Colorado. What's the best thing that Governor Polis has done in the COVID-19 pandemic? And then I'll ask you, what's the worst thing he's done? But what's the best thing he has done? Well, I think the best thing he's done is try and stay calm and focused and, um, you know, communicate with us about his decisions. I disagree with many of his decisions. I think the nursing home debacle last fall is not getting talked about. That's a really serious issue, and the news just kind of shoved it under the carpet. <laughs> That last reference to the nursing homes is about a June investigation by Colorado Public Radio reporter Ben Marcus. It uncovered the state's COVID testing and contact tracing were overwhelmed in late 2020 while nursing home deaths were rising to double the national average. That question was the last of my interview and I didn't get a chance to follow up then, but I emailed a follow up asking what she would have done that Polis did not. And Kyle, the short answer she provided was, quote, everything. She would have done everything. This is where it would be helpful to be able to go back and say, like, when this issue was going on and Governor Polis did X, Heidi Ganahl was saying, let's do Y. But mm -hmm. that's what she's erased so that people can't go back and see that. So about the larger question about somebody running for governor and whether they think elections are rigged, that's a question that's going to come up a bunch of times. And the question for Colorado Republicans is whether they are going to keep doing the President Trump, our elections are rigged thing or move in a different direction. She's going to stick with Trump on this. You look at the number of unaffiliated voters we have in this state, and it's a relevant question. And I've talked with David Flaherty from Magellan Strategies, the conservative-leaning polling firm that helped us out on election night, and he told me his polling showed 9 out of 10 Republicans support Trump. So you still have to speak to that base if you're going to win a primary to be the Republican nominee that gets the chance to face Polis. And then the question becomes, will you answer that question when the unaffiliated voters are going to vote in November? Well, hopefully uh, she doesn't do the every couple of months scrubbing of her record or you need to keep videotape because we're going to want to go back and check the answers. All right. Thank you, Marshall.